Hello friends, let's do this geometry triangle question together. What is the area in square inches of the triangle below? You could try this on your own if you hit the pause button and then we'll do it together. Welcome back. Now we're gonna do it together. So let's take a look at this triangle, what's called an equilateral triangle, meaning all the angles are equal. Let's draw the equilateral triangle. Okay, there we go. Those are the three sides. The three sides of the triangle are 10, 10, and 10. And what we're trying to do is try to get the area of the triangle. Now the formula for an area of the triangle is one half the base times the height. Here we have the base, that's 10, so we have one half of 10 times the height. And the height is this line here. How the heck are we gonna get the height? In an equilateral triangle, the perpendicular line that goes to the top will create two equal line segments. So that half is equal and the other half is equal. And if the whole base is 10, that means that portion is five and this portion is five. Now, what we have here are two right triangles. Let's focus just on this right triangle. Uh, we have the two sides is H and five, and then the hypotenuse is 10. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can get the height squared plus five squared equals 10 squared. So that would be eight squared plus 25 equals 100. Subtract 25 to each side. H squared equals 75. H equals square root 75. So if we go back to our equation, it would be one half times the base, which is 10, times the height, which is square 75. And that would then, the answer would be five times the square root of 75. Five times the square root of 75 can be simplified. 75 is like three times 25, and 25 is five squared. So the five squared comes out, and then you'd have five times five times the square root of three, which is 25 times the square root of three. There is another way to calculate this. There is a formula for an equilateral triangle, if you could memorize it, and that is the area of an equilateral triangle will equal the square root of three divided by four times the side squared. Each side is uh, equal. So here the side is 10, so it would be the square root of three divided by four times 10 squared, which would be 100 and then that would equal 100 times the square root of three divided by four. That simplifies into 25 times the square root of three. So th those are the two ways you can get it. You could do it the long way, which is the first way we did it, or if you could remember this formula, you could do it that way. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or any other equations you want me to do, put it in the comments, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.